Andrei, Vlado, the name, I don't know. Yeah, I'm Maria, I know. Jana, uh, you want to you wanna help me introduce everyone? Yeah, that's the... That's our wonderful band, Equinox. It's Jana, Vlado, Trey, Johnny, JJ, and Maria, our lovely backing vocal. Ah, thank you. And our song here with us is Boris, who wrote this wonderful song. He's also our co-producer, and Sasha Chantopoulos, who is our stage director. Welcome. I don't know how I'm going to do this, because you are a crowd. So, <laughs> maybe we'll be the lady with you, with you. Come on. Lady first. Oh, please. Please. Johnny, how are you? I'm feeling great. So, how did the first rehearsal go? The second rehearsal go? Very well. And the first one went well. Both no, but did you change anything from the first one to this one? Did you make a lot of changes or...? Only my shoes and my stockings. Oh! <laughs> you feel comfortable up there? I feel amazing, thank you. And you're a superstar in Bulgaria. She is. Yes. She is. And now in Europe. And that's yes. conquering the world. <laughs> Get there. How was you to, to win the, the X Factor of Bulgaria? What? what? So how was it to win the X Factor of Bulgaria? Thank how you. was it? That was a dream come true for me. I, uh, I remember how I was sitting in front of the TV, waiting for my chance for that day, and that day came. So on 20th of December, December 2013, I won it. And I'm very happy to have you here. Yeah, I have to very briefly with all of you. JJ, hi, welcome. Hi, nice, hi. nice shoes, actually. Oh, yes. 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 So, you had a point back. Yep, yeah. all three, two. You missed those times? Uh, I no, I didn't miss it because I'm in a group right now with really talented singers. Thank you so much. And I Thank think you. that for me, this second rehearsal was really magical. I just feel it, feel it, feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the thing. <laughs> From your boy band, do you remember any song, any music? Of course. <laughs> Can you sing us a bit? Time is now. That's the day that you know, so you're so well. Time is now. From the States. Yes. Where from the States? I'm originally from Michigan, but I live in Los Angeles. And, and you had your kind of boy band experience as well, because you two with me. Oh, like, you two with NSYNC, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the same management, so uh, we went on a US tour all together, guys. Yeah, you know that Justin Timberlake? He's kind of Eurovision related, because he performed in Eurovision. Yes. Yeah, and he's yes. triple act. Is he nice? Very, very, very nice. Okay. Everyone's really nice. Okay. And Americans got, Americans got time. How was this as well? Um, it was like this, but on a smaller scale. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying your vision? Uh, oh my god, yes. I'm having the best time. It feels so good to be a part of the bubble. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got famous in Whitney Houston. I did, yeah. yes. Was it your favorite, was it, was it the favorite song you sang there? Um, no, I actually love the Stevie Wonder song more. Oh, okay. sing it, babe. Everyone else loves it. <laughs> Wanna sing it? Sing a little bit for us? Come on. Lately I've had the strangest feeling With no vivid reason here to find And yet the thought of losing you's been hanging Round my You already called them? Yes, so we've already spoken, and I've been super excited for them. They wrote uh, the Monsters, a Finnish song, and also Dance You All, a Swedish song, and I think both of those songs are stiff competition this year. Mm -hmm. No, but when you, when you go back to the States, how do you explain to the American people 
what is this wonderful, awesome, crazy thing called your vision? So I will tell them first and foremost that it's an incredible community of super inspired people. Not only the people that are writing the songs, but the people that are performing the songs, and also the like fans and the bloggers. Like each and every single piece makes the entire experience. Yeah, this is for you. Thank you. Vlado, how are you? I have an interesting question for you, because you're an actor as well. Yeah. And so, and you do uh, lots of movies and musical theater. And that too. Yeah, just describe super stuff. I've met some wonderful friends here actually. This this year's edition of Eurovision, a lot of the artists here have done music theater. I know, and I always love to ask about that. Yeah, I'm an actor, I'm that's a why. Great time talking about that. But yeah, Jesus Christ Superstar was a dream come true. Ever since I was a little kid, I, I was dreaming of singing and playing that part. Judas. Judas was my favorite. Oh, have it on their minds. Sorry? Have it on their minds. So it's a little... My mind is clearer now. At last, all oh, too well. I can see where we all soon will be. And my favorite. Jesus! I'm a singer. a singer that also acts. I really think I'm a singer first. I never went to school for acting, and I've been learning uh, on the go ever since I started filming in 2004. But it is, a, a, it is, a, you know, hard work as just as anything else. But I've been do doing more singing and playing the guitar and writing songs. Uh, so I think I'm primarily a singer, and I'm lucky to be an actor as well, and definitely lucky to have done music theater. Yeah. And I'm lucky to be here. Yeah, You're of course. Thank you. And Maria, are they treating you well? The Equinox? Are you liking to? Yeah, I'm so I'm so satisfied. It's such an honor for me. Um, it's the biggest, um, the biggest thing in my life. The biggest experience that I've ever had. I appreciate it, guys. You are super talented. I appreciate it. Trey and John, uh, you didn't sing anything, you want to sing anything for us? I'm good. <laughs> when you're sitting between these two lovers, I'm good. Jana, may I ask the word? May they ask the questions? You give the permission? Okay. Yes, please. The mic, the mic time. Hello? Hi guys, I'm Simon from Polish and it's better. After seeing all first and second rehearsals, I can tell you, you are number one. Yes, that's right. And I wish you victory. It will be a special uh, victory for Bulgaria, holding the EU presidency as well at the same time. It once happened in the history of the European Union that the country holding the presidency won the contest. It was in '62. Oh, yeah. But my question is, how Bulgarian people reacted on U.S. citizens in the team? Uh, please tell me. They were actually very, very welcoming. Uh, Bulgaria, or well, Sofia, where we spent the bulk of our time. Um, has shown us so much love. The people um, are very, very welcoming and open to having us, U.S. citizens. So they're really, really good. And it's we, should, we should make Eurovision bigger and bigger every year, right? So Bulgaria wants to contribute, and I think it was a good thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're obsessed with the Bulgarian culture. We've been trying to learn the language as well. So just as open as they've been with us, we've been just as open with them. So we're all just sharing the love until they all the love for us. And you know, this, this thing, this is your vision as well. Besides Trey, Trey and Johnny, how Bulgarian already? They have Bulgarian names. <laughs> Trey Cho! Trey Cho! Yeah, so... <laughs> Next question. Hello, <laughs> my name is Ivan, which is good to be a Bulgarian, but I'm from Spain. And my question is uh, to Sasha. Congratulations, first of all, for the beautiful staging. I think uh, I was today into the, in the arena and I saw it in the screen and both in, in real life and it was amazing. What was the most challenging thing of this uh, special staging for Forekinos for you? 
close commitment. So first of all, thank you for kind words. It's a team effort and I am so proud to be working with Bulgaria for my second year. So this was a special, like a special challenge because they are five very strong solo artists and we have a song that has a message. So we needed to make a story that presents them as solo artists but still holds them as a group but also drives the story forward, if that makes sense. Yeah. So we had a good rehearsal today. We, of course, have a thousand things that we want to work at because we're control freaks and we want to have the best performance. <laughs> so we're super, super happy for today, but we're looking forward to pushing even more. Thank you. Now over here, I think I have a little jerk. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Um, hello. Uh, Madeline Chitalian from EurovisionBulgaria.com. I don't think we've spoken about the stage clothes that you have, but most... Uh, the clothes? The clothes, yeah. Um, and the Ijana's dress, uh, does it symbolize something special? Thank you. It's just, I think, the best option that we, we have. I think it's kind of strange. I think it's a little bit like... Uh, like such as says. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so mysterious. Mysterious, yes, and I love it. She kind of encompasses everything. She is light and darkness at the same time. And as we know, light and darkness must exist both in the same space. So she really encompasses all of that for us. Thank you. Yes, please. Hi there, Tony Nick from Swedish newspaper Aftonbladet. This is a question for head of delegation. Um, I'm wondering why national juries from Australia, Portugal, Belgium, Italy and Sweden should award Bulgaria any points this year, since uh, last year Bulgarian juries seemingly awarded all nations they thought were threats zero points. That's quite a uh, as, as far as I can understand, you're asking your question about the, ju the jury. The juries in Bulgaria are independent. So I have no idea what the jury will appoint. It's not my job to know. These are very, very serious people uh, who are very renowned in Bulgaria. So they would, they, they would judge for themselves. I can't, uh, we don't uh, influence our jury at all. So whatever you've noticed is a matter of statistics. It's not a matter of any decision making made on part of the BNT. I'm sorry if I disappoint you. Thank you. But our jury is Thank totally you. independent. Hey, Gunox, Sebastian from Weblogs.com. This question is going to be for Boris Milanov. Why did you decide to compose a supergroup for Eurovision this year? You've been to Eurovision a few times. Why a supergroup including a search all the way across America? Uh, first of all, I, I was uh, closely not to submit to Bulgaria this year. And uh, I thought to myself, if I submit, I want to submit with something totally different than before. And I, and I want to present Bulgaria, not only Bulgaria, also our production team in a different way. And uh, I think a project like that, I don't know if it was before in other countries, but definitely was not presented by Bulgaria before. So, and, and I said to myself, okay, what is Eurovision to me? Eurovision to me is actually a huge responsibility. Eurovision is not just uh, something for my career to climb up, it's not an ego trip, it's not only business. It's just for me responsibility to all the audience. It's 400 million, I think, this year. So, so uh, I think the main thing is to inspire people. That's what, what, what is my main goal. And uh, music has no country flag, no uh, continent, maybe not even a planet, who knows? So for me, I was first going by the ears. So these voices was chosen for me by, the, my, by my ear and also consulting with my colleagues. So, and then uh, also by, when, when I put them together and I said, I said, oh my God, they all so different, so beautiful people, which so talented and so different. At the same time, it's the hardest thing to combine individual people who are on their own stars into a group they never met before. 
And that's also what, what Sashi is showing on stage. We have strangers in the beginning who, who are totally not looking in, in, even to each other. They're longing for something, searching for something. But as long as the song goes, they're coming together. And maybe that's the message you want to give to the world. We all have different cultures, different countries, different continents. But I think the strongest time is when we're all together. So that's the reason. Wow. That's the reason. And I'm very happy that we have such a word because she feels that message. <laughs> yes, last question, please. I'm sorry. We're running out of time. Sorry. Hi, Alistair Birch from, from Eurofile. My question is for Sasha. Um, congratulations on a great staging of Bulgaria. But how do you balance your time between all the countries that you're helping at this year's Eurovision? And how do you maintain the creativity when you're under such a workload? What a good question. Thank you for kind words. Well, uh, I think maybe the people who are here with one country have been to sightseeing. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> hint, hint. No, but I love to work. I love my, my passion is this, and I love to create performances. I have the honor to work with three countries this year, and I put my everything into each and every act. Day and night, early morning and late nights, whatever it takes to get our vision through, and to get our vision through for you who watches it on TV. So I would say hours, I push the hours, but I think all of you feel well taken care of, I hope. Yes. 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 Honestly, I couldn't imagine doing this without you. Let me add something to this. Eurovision, we at Eurovision are a community. We are a community that delivers one of the best music products in the world to our audience. There's no problem for us to work together. There's no problem for us to work within one country with people that come from different places. Because the music says it all in the end. Woo! So, uh, well, that and that's a wrap. Means euphoria, rock, love, kindness, and fabulous. Was it? Did I get this right? <laughs> the Equinox! Yeah!